Can you see a day where we have robots exploring alien terrain, no matter what the conditions are? Yes, uh, definitely. Uh, we have a project in my group that we are developing novel climbing robots that can basically access on any planet uh, on surfaces and they can walk, climb around and basically they can search life, they can get fossils and they will have different sensors so that uh, they can work in those very harsh environments in the future. Insects, they have developed a special or different special mechanisms, but not only one, to really get a lift for their body. And basically what they do is they flap their wings at very high amplitude, but also at very high speed, at frequency, so that they can flap very fast, let's say 150 times in a second. And when they flap it, it's not only like a bird flapping. They also rotate their wings, so they really make complicated shapes, which generates some vortices at the back so that uh, they can get enough lift to uh, propel their body in this very viscous uh, air uh, for their size. They are very highly maneuverable, so they can turn corners 90 degrees, they can turn upside down and uh, let's say land on a ceiling. So they have this amazing flying capability that a helicopter or other flying machines cannot have. And also they are very power efficient. So basically they use so small power because they have kind of a vibration mechanism that he's using relatively minimal power to generate those uh, motions. Uh, and then if you can mimic that or get inspiration from that and build robots similar uh, with similar flapping mechanisms, basically we will use very few power and also we will have really new capabilities of uh, high maneuverable flight uh, on Mars or on Earth. It's the uh, all possible applications. And big advantage is those robots will be relatively small and very light and we can have many of them and if you deploy so many of those small robots on those planets they will go around and find out these clues of life and send back to some main station and you will find out or we will find out one day if there is life or other uh, kind of behavior in those uh, planets one day. Definitely it's possible. Fascinating, my darlings, just fascinating. And it all comes from the power of animals. It seems that the further we progress, the further we are looking back. There's much to learn from the animal world, and Daniel and Natalie are about to undertake another incredible journey. And this time, to discover a different animal power. The power of animal totems. So far, we have seen how dolphins may have a completely different take on the world to us. Being able to see right into our bodies, if not our souls. And talking of souls, it's time to look at how those animal powers work on the spiritual plane. We're about to meet Australian Aborigine Robert Brofo. He's going to tell us about the Woggle or Rainbow Serpent, a snake that has mystical and religious significance for the Noongar people, the Aboriginal people of Perth and Western Australia. 